Hi, so today I just wanted to make um, just a really quick, well, we'll see how quick it is, a video about word cards. So my pen friend um, who generously shares things with me um, sent me this pack of word cards and had the idea to do like an ink catalog on these. And I don't know if that's a new idea, but I got the idea from him and I thought I would share it with you because I think it's awesome. And so I've spent some time trying to finish up all of the inks that I have. I liked, I, I had the Goulet Ink Drops subscription for over a year and I finally canceled it. Um, I feel like I've tried a lot of brands and I've, although I've seen a trend with Diamine and Private Reserve being probably two of the brands that I have the most of that Goulet has chosen to send ink drop subscribers over the year. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe they just make a lot of inks. Anyway, I, um, I, I got to kind of like rediscover the inks that I had and, uh, see, you know, what I, trends of what I like. I, I get to look at them and kind of have, you know, remember my reaction like, oh yeah, I really like that or no, I didn't like that at all. And so I think in the future, um, I will probably still buy ink samples, um, unless I have an ink that I really like then I might go ahead and buy a bottle. We'll see how it goes. But I, I like to change things up, and so, I don't know. A bottle is a huge commitment. All right, so, um, this is what the Word Cards stack looks like when it comes to you. Um, the brand is Nemasine, Nemasine. Um, you can get it from Jet Pens. And the paper is textured, which is, I don't know if you can see that texture, I believe you can. Sometimes it's a little difficult to write on it. I tried writing in cursive, um, and that certainly did not work. I tried using dip nibs, tore into the cards. And so what I found worked the best um, was a glass quill that I have for writing the names of the inks. And then my friend had a brilliant idea to kind of do a smear of the ink just using uh, a pocket knife. And so I'm going to demonstrate how to do one of these cards with my last ink that I have to um, add to my collection. But the word cards, it's nice heavy paper. Um, the ink does not bleed through at all. Especially for the, the smear, if you use a lot of ink um, to see what you know the ink will look like, any kind of sheen or um, shine, it doesn't bleed through. They're joined together by a little ring that clasps. I, the name of this type of ring escapes me, but it makes me think of elementary school. The cover is like a plastic kind of cover that you might have on uh, a notebook or something like that. And so basically what I did is I just wrote the, the manufacturer, the name of the ink, and then I did the smear. I know people hate the smear. That apple blossom ink still kind of smells perfumey on here. When I remember when I opened it last time, I'm like, whoa, that's quite perfumey, and it still smells that way. So anyway, uh, just flipping through, I mean, you can see that this is a really excellent way to catalog your inks. That's kind of what the the um, what my samples have been looking like. They're just kind of little little works of art. It's pretty. And of course, one of my absolute favorites, Scrabble Workshop Mermaid. Um, but it really gives you a chance to see the, the really pretty shading that some of these inks have. Um, I really like it. So I think this is a handy way to keep track of all of your inks because when you're looking at them like like that or something, I mean, it's really hard to, to tell what the ink looks like. Even when you open the bottle, it's hard to tell what it's actually going to look like on paper. And I like seeing the difference between having it written, and this seems to be like what would be a fine nib, and then actually having that that spot of ink to see. And you can see like Visconti Blue has a nice sheen to it. I also discovered that I really like the Visconti inks. Um, you know, sometimes you just forget what you've got if you have quite a few, and I had quite a few, although I'm sure there are people out there that have way more than I do. But super simple, quite quick an easy way to just kind of catalog all of your inks and see what you've got and it's kind of fun to flip through too. Some of these are really pretty, um, like Diamine Coral, really pretty, really nice, nice and bright. But uh, like you get to see the shading on the Kelly Green, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, I just thought I would share this idea with you. It is not my idea, but I liked it. 
And then it came with this little yellow paper, and I just used that to separate unused word cards from the used ones. And so it's nice and compact. It fits right in your hand. And let me show you just the process. It will be pretty quick. Uh, so I've got my little word card and my glass quill, my army knife, or my pocket knife, my water for ink, paper towels, you just want to come prepared. This is actually the only bottle of ink that I own and a student gave this to me along with this glass quill actually in a, a set. I don't know if it came in a set but he presented it to me as a set and it's Pelkin 4001 Brilliant Black. So this will be the last one that I add to my collection. The first and only bottle of ink that I own and it was a gift. So. I'm hoping that out of all the blacks that I, I actually don't have very many black inks, but none of them are very uh, black. So I'm hoping this will be a true dark black because that's something that my uh, samples are lacking. So this is Pelican. I'm going to move this so my hand isn't in the way or maybe so that the tripod isn't in the way. So, just going to clean that off. I found that if you just immediately dip in water and move on and kind of wipe it off and then go to the next thing, uh, this, this can go pretty quickly. So then I'm just going to take my pocket knife and I'm actually going to dip that in the ink too. And then using a quite a light touch, um, I'm just going to spread some of that ink on the word card. But it's, you know, I've been doing it kind of on the edge of the desk, so for these purposes, I had to kind of get a good angle. And that's it. And then, of course, immediately cap your ink, because we all know, I'm sure, have had disasters. <laughs> Although in something like this, the likelihood you're going to spill it is not as great as if you're going with something like an ink file. And that's it. Um, I have to say, out of all of them, the only one that feathered on me was Noodler's Polar Brown, and I don't know if it's just because it's an ink that feathers, but all of them did a, a, it, the paper is really nice. You can see I have quite a bit of ink on there, not a bit of show through on the back, and, um, it's just, I think, a really, uh, kind of artistic and, um, convenient way to catalog all of your inks and have it all in a compacted, easy to find place. Um, I just alphabetized mine by manufacturer and then by uh, the ink name. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but I had to make some sense of what I was doing uh, for this process, but it might actually be better if you did it by color. If you put like, you know, you made like a rainbow in your word cards and you did all of your pinks and then reds and oranges and yellows. I don't know. That would take a really long time and I just didn't have time to do that. But um, anyway, that was just something I wanted to share with you that I thought was, was fun and it was a, a quick, easy project that I think was productive and resulted in something that will be useful for me. So I hope it's useful for you and I hope you have a really nice day and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.